OLED panels still offer deeper blacks, higher native contrast, and the most convincing colors. However, although the cost has dropped significantly, and we can find models at a reasonable price, they still aren't that affordable. This is precisely what makes LCD panel TVs, with LED backlight, and full array local dimming matrix, a very interesting alternative to OLED, and the Sony X900F is a good example, of what the latest advances in LCD technology have to offer. Features The two most striking features of the X900F, are its 4K HDR X1 Extreme Image Processor, which is the same one Sony uses in its OLED TVs, and its LED backlight with local dimming. Both are a decisive factor for the overall image quality of this TV. Sony's image processor executes, among other functions, three very important algorithms. The first one, known as Dual Database Processing, aims to eliminate noise and improve detail in real time. The second, Object Base HDR Remaster, allows the processor to analyze each frame separately, and identify the objects that make it up, for the purpose of applying color correction, and individual contrast for each one of them. And third, the Super Bitmapping 4K, applies a gradient of softer colors and lights, to smooth the scenes with a lot of tonal richness. In addition, the full array local dimming backlight manages to control the light with much more precision, thanks to the presence of a larger number of LEDs, which are placed behind the panel, and not on the edges. Design The design follows Sony's guidelines. Stylized lines, thin frames, and a huge base for added stability. This is an attractive TV, built with quality materials and impeccable machining. The back of the chassis is mostly good quality plastic, that should not have any problem to stand the test of time. The aluminum base is minimalist but somewhat long. It provides good stability, but takes up a fairly large area. User experience? The operating system is Android TV, so its interface is very similar to other models that also bet on Google's platform. The most straightforward and practical way to navigate the interface is via the conventional remote control. However, Google's Voice Assistant is also integrated into this TV, so you can do almost everything with voice commands. One of the known handicaps of Android TV, is the responsiveness of the interface, which, on occasion can become infuriating. Fortunately, it seems that Sony, and other manufacturers, are beginning to use more powerful processors, that can better handle the load. There is still a way to go, but the Sony X900F lets you navigate the interface much more smoothly than before. On the other hand, the configuration menus haven't changed, and are not the most intuitive in the market, but not the most complex either. It will take the user some time to familiarize themselves with them. The three important picture modes you have to look out for, are professional cinema, home cinema, and games. The first two are perfect for movies, although personally I prefer professional cinema, since it grants the images with a similar aspect to the one I enjoy when going to the movies. The game mode on the other hand, is crucial if you are going to use the TV for gaming. It deactivates a good part of the image processing, and thus significantly reduces input latency. Connectivity You can connect the X900F to the internet via Wi-Fi, or using an Ethernet cable. For audio-visual connections, this TV features four HDMI ports that should be sufficient for most users. All of them are compatible with the HDCP 2.2 protocol, but only ports 2 and 3 meet the HDMI 2.0 standard. And the only HDMI port that incorporates the audio return channel, is number 3. Keep all this in mind when you connect this TV with a gaming console, or external audio equipment. Performance As expected, the full array local dimming manages to illuminate the panel in a significantly more homogeneous way than edge backlighting. In addition, this technology performs much better when the panel must reproduce frames that show a very dark background, and a few very bright areas, such as a starry sky. LCD televisions with edge backlighting are often unable to offer deep blacks, and really bright dots on the same frame, but the full array local dimming solutions offer a much better result. Obviously, its blacks are not as deep as those of a good OLED panel, and its native contrast is not as high, but if you do not view it side by side to an OLED TV, believe me, the image quality of the X900F is striking. The colors are also spot on. Sony engineers have equipped the X900F with nanocrystals, a technology that the Japanese brand calls Triluminos, that in addition to the algorithms that we talked about before, managed to adjust the color with a lot of precision, 
and show excellent color gradients. Of course, to appreciate all that you will need a video signal of good quality, such as a Blu-ray 4K disc, or at least 4K Ultra HD content from Netflix. The other good news is this TV's fantastic HDR. Once again, the presence of the full area local dimming matrix makes all the difference in the world. The level of brightness that this TV is capable of generating is almost unparalleled. But what happens when the signal is not 4K? The upscaling from 1080p, especially from Blu-ray discs, is wonderful. So much so, that it tricked me a couple of times in believing that I was watching a 4K Blu-ray disc. On the other hand, when the video signal has a resolution of 720p or lower, the scaling cannot work miracles, and the image quality clearly suffers. In any case, with movies and video games at 1080p or higher resolutions, this TV feels great. Add to all this Sony's motion processing technology, called X-Motion Clarity, and you have the whole package. Sony's engineers have been refining this technology for years, and have become the industry standard. Of course, the native 120Hz refresh rate, and the inherent low response time of the VA panel, clearly help out. Last but not least, gaming. Input latency is the key measurement here. In game mode, the X900F has a low input latency of 40 milliseconds at 1080p and 60Hz, and just 20 milliseconds at 2160p and 60Hz, figures that will allow you to enjoy even the most demanding FPS titles. Verdict The Sony X900F is a prime example of what LCD TVs can still do. Its overall image quality can be characterized as premium. It offers deep blacks, a lot of detail in dark scenes, and solid HDR. Its weak points are the narrow viewing angles and its sound. It is not bad for TV standards, but if you want to truly enjoy a movie or a video game, you will have to get at least a good soundbar. If you are looking for a premium TV, but your budget doesn't extend to OLED prices, the X900F is an excellent alternative.